Hello there, everybody. It's me, Kay. Welcome back to Morrowind. We're still looking for the n -n 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 egg mine. We haven't found it yet. We did find a cave last episode. Go away. And we are looking for more stuff around here. There's got to be an egg mine somewhere. We already found Saturn. I made a bad joke about Zatarans, if I recall. Uh, let's try... Looking at our guide again. How's Lalu? An Aeneas egg mine. Just across the mountains from Saran, the entrance to the egg mine faces the mountains. Okay. Fair enough. Well, that's Saran. This is just across the mountains. The entrance to the mines faces the mountains, so it'll be set in this side of things. Let's head down this way. We might see something. Well, I do see something. It's an outlet. But... It's got to be on, like, a road, right? I mean, people use this for commerce. Hell, Sadaran was a bandit cave, and it's on a friggin' road. Uh, that's Molten Hot Liquid Magma. You don't want to touch that. It hurts. A lot. Right in the ass. If we go over here, we can head to Balmora, Plagiad, Vivek, Molagmar that way, Mount Kand, and Mount Asarnabibi. Asarnabibi! I like that name. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna put on my floaty ring so I can get a kind of lay of the land situation here. Let's see, and I am wearing my gamulet, right? Yes, okay, good. Okay, uh, let's equip the stand milf ring and the flight ring both. Wait, is that the stand milf ring? No, that's the septum ring. I need the stand milf ring. There it is. Okay, let's look around here. We look like such a goober, I love it. I wish I could just hold down spacebar to ascend, you know? I love that we walk around doing it, too. That feels really awkward. Okay, that's Saturn right there. Is it? Maybe not. Where'd this guy come from? Hey, Wild Guar. Are, are we cool? Nope. Okay. Hey, yeah, that's Saturn. Just the Guar decided that they were there now. Uh-oh. I come to you this time, motherfucker. Take that. Yeah, that's what you get. That'll learn you. Uh, there's kind of a path here. Ooh, this might be something. This might be something. Scamp. Hey, Scamp. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's how I feel, probably feel if I get hit by this. Hi. Who are you? You're a gentleman named of Umbra. Have you come seeking me? My name is unimportant, and my accomplishments are few. What is the use of knowing my name? If it will make you comfortable, you may call me Umbra. It is the name of my blade, though it may as well be mine. What are any of my accomplishments in the whole of this world? I have traveled from one end of the land to the other. I have killed creatures that can stop a man's heart with but a look. I have the blood of man and mare uncountable on my hands. I have seen the atrocities of war and the hideous excess of peace. There is nothing left for me in this world. Atrocities of war? I have seen the wholesale slaughter of men, women, entire races of people. Villages have burned before my eyes. My hand has held the torch and my hand has thrown water on the flames. I have been ankle deep in blood, swinging umbra in a wide arc, all for the glory of the battle. And here I still stand. Nothing left. I have no more to do in this life. I have saved whole towns from packs of Daedra, and I have slaughtered men for the glory of countless nobles. All that is left for me is my own death, and the gods have cheated me of that. All I ask is to die like a warrior, but how can that be? 
I don't believe it is too much to ask to die as a warrior should, in battle. It is my curse, though, that I have found no one that can best me in combat. Are you the one that can? Can you come and lift me from these shackles of life? Come then, be the new wielder of Umbra. I will give you the death you deserve. You are a fool to fight me. Excellent. Perhaps now I will be granted a warrior's death. And if I am not, know that you will be. Well, I got bad news for you, Mr. Umbra. <laughs> I'm gonna cheese the shit out of you, Mr. Umbra. Sorry. Okay, it's very important to understand. The Umbra fight, he's like an optional hidden mega boss. He is pure death incarnate. He will kick your ass under most circumstances if you don't find a way to grant him a, a cheesy ass death. But his sword is pretty bitchin' rad, so we want that. There we go. All right. So, Mr. Umbra, enjoy your warrior's death. The Umbra Sword. It's a two-handed long blade. Look at the damage on that damn thing. Also, it soul traps everything it hits for two minutes. It's quite good. We're going to take all his stuff. We are over-encumbered now, of course. But, uh... I'm going to ditch some of this Imperial shit. Steel boots I don't need. The helmet I don't need. I just need to wear the Curus, so... We're past our silly little Imperial soldier cosplaying, I think. Definitely don't need that gigantic-ass shield. There we go. Now I can move. I traded him some Imperial armor, basically. So yeah, he's just hidden over there. Just, just kind of across the mountains from Saran, just chilling. We will probably Umbra it up at some point. It's one of probably like the top five weapons in the entire game. But yeah, Umbra don't fuck around, so you gotta cheese him if you want to live. I think this is probably the egg mine which I seek. The Ananius egg mine, yes. What am I? S I'm stuck. Oh, okay. Oh, he's having problems too. Okay, well, uh, give me just a second. Let me let me take off the levitation ring because I appear to be jammed in there. Yeah, there we go. Die, please. Thank you. Actually, I will take your Kwama Cuddle if you have any. You do. I like that stuff. It's good. It makes a couple things. If I recall. So, hi, Slaughterfish. I see you. Let's head over here. Dink? Why did it go dink? I don't know what that was about. Some mushrooms, if you're into that. I'm not doing a lot in the way of alchemy this game, I know, so I'm not too worried about them. I'm not that fussed with ingredients. There's also, looks like rocks that would contain ebony looking at them, but they don't. Uh, yeah, you ain't got nothing for me. Uh-huh. What the fu- oh. Yeah, you. Give me your damn cuddle, you little shitlord. Oh, uh, there's nothing in here. Well, then where the hell do I go to find Queenie? Could it be underwater? Maybe it's a little flooded right now? I don't know. Where are those slaughterfish? There's one. There was another one, wasn't there? I don't know where they went. Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah, there is a flooded passage here. Okay, well, let's get air. There we go. Boy, this must suck for the workers, having to swim this flooded passage every time they want to go to the Queen. Oh, yep. Oh, you guys are pissed. Oh, because you're blighted, so you're aggressive, yeah. Well, that takes care of Queenie. Alright, that should do that job. I've killed the orc called Umbra, yep. He was a valiant warrior, and he's died in the manner of his choosing. Okay, uh, options. That's a lot of Ananius Egg Mine. This was the Ananius Egg Mine, right? I didn't just commit, like, a horrible offense. I mean, I did, because I killed an Egg Mine Queen. That's important for the economy. But... 
economic crimes aren't real crimes unless they affect really poor people, then they're real crimes. Okay, that should do it. If it doesn't update, I can update it manually via the console. Oh, this was the wrong way. Wait, is there anything up there? No, just a stalactite. Alright, well that should have done it. We killed the shit out of the queen. I'm gonna get you too, just because I can. I'll take your Kwama Cuddle. I don't care about that egg. Okay, so Queenie's dead. We can head back. I'll, uh... I don't think the console... I'm gonna have to console that because it apparently glitched and just didn't give me credit. I might have killed her way too fast. That's fine, though. No big deal. Uh, for the rest of this episode, though, I do want to kind of look around out here and see if there's anything cool, you know? I haven't really looked around here much. Nice septum ring. I want to fly. There we go. Let's just look around. Hey, there's something I want to check out. Daedric ruins are always full of interesting things. Usually Daedra, as a matter of fact. Hmm. There's one right now. Yeah, it didn't go well for you, did it? I'll take that heart. Thank you. Nothing really there. What's up here? Oh, hello there. Are you cool? Oh yeah, you are cool. Huh. Okay, hi. Mivul Irvon. You're a knight. Okay. Are you here to, like, fight Daedra or something? You don't seem to be a Daedric cultist. Interesting. Well, okay. Sometimes there are people who fight Daedra. Take that. Foul fiend. And another one of them. We're definitely pretty high level if we're just running into multiple Daedroth now. Daedroth don't generally mess around. They're fairly deadly. As you can see, he did a number on my health bar. He actually hurt me quite a lot with his magic. That poison spell they cast is very damaging. There's got to be a door into a shrine somewhere around here, right? Who the hell are you? Are you cool too? Yeah, you're cool. You're a witch hunter. Oh yeah, you guys are here to kill Daedra. Okay. That's what you people are about. Interesting. So they're not hostile, because I'm... I'm here for the same reason. Killing Daedra. Huh? What? There's somebody after me. Doesn't seem to be a cliff racer. It's actually a rather lovely day here in this Daedric ruin. Uh... Yeah, they're just kind of patrolling around. Smacking Daedra wherever they see them. They're probably pretty tough to be doing it, too. Uh, don't see any kind of entrance to this ruin, actually, so maybe there isn't one. No, no doors or anything. Let's uh, check our map. Oh, there is one. There is one. It's in the center. Ald Sotha. Hmm. I believe this is an important one, so I should probably come back to it later when the story calls me here. in here. No, but there is definitely a door. Oh, there's one. Also at the upper level. Let's have a little look inside. We can look around. This is a big one. Look at this place. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. I want to get their loot and actually be able to carry it out, so maybe I should leave this alone. Because they got all kinds of ebony gear and shit, and I was like, eh, I'll leave them be. I just... Did I just find Vivek? Yeah, I did. Huh. Okay. I'm cool with that. That's a little bit of a surprise, but yeah, here I am at Vivek. Sure enough, yeah. Let's uh let's actually head on over. 
and check about heading to Balmora because I did do that quest. I will need to console command it apparently, so we will do that. Unless maybe if I talk to her, she'll just automatically note that I've done it. We'll see. Won't be you. I need the Silt Strider. Look at me. I am the Silt Strider operator now. We made okay. a special trip just for Travel you. to Balmora. Where would you like to go? Just walking around glowing. All right, let's drop off some things first and fix my my weapon, which definitely needs fixing. Uh, yes. Okay, give me the... Oh, I already have a bunch of them. Well, why didn't I use them? What silliness. There. Okay, cool. Well, that was good. I'm over-encumbered. Oh, because I did pick them up. Okay. Hey, this item will not fit. Why? It fit just fine earlier. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Let's just sit them on top of there so I can get them when I need them. Close that damn thing. There we go. Why is there just an iron arrow, 150 of them sitting there? I don't know. I'm going to take this damn ring off. It's so hard to navigate with it on. There we go. Okay, so... Orcish Curus. Orcish Helmet. Orcish Bracer. Orcish Pauldron. Orcish... No, oh, hang on. Orcish Bracer. Orcish Pauldron. Orcish Tower Shield. I love that shield, though. That's a great face. He's just like, eh. I don't know if he's... He looks a little high or nauseous. I'm not sure which. He's like, eh. He looks like the face of the person who plays Blanca in Street Fighter. Like anybody who picks Blanca. And then some Buets. Orcish Buets. There we go. All right. In memory of Umbra, a real one. Umbra's in several of the games, actually. He's a recurring badass. Set the Umbra sword down right there. That is a gorgeous sword with a nice purple glowy. Dendrick Tanto. Don't need that. Okay. And we're good. Should drop that moon sugar and skoom off. Uh, moon sugar. I have some skooma, don't I? No, I don't actually appear to have skooma on me. For once. Good. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm amazed that I don't have skooma on me. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Alright, let's see if that quest is done. You killed the queen? Good. Take these 500 drakes with my gratitude. Okay, we didn't need to console it. It's fine. It just checks to see if it's dead when you talk to her. All right, how about business? House Redoran sells more guar hides than House Lalu. Someone needs to convince the alchemists in Vivek to buy only imported House Lalu guar hides. Okay. Guar hides. We'll start with the alchemist Rolasa Oren. Go to Vivek and convince her to buy imported House Lalu guar hides instead of local House Redoran guar hides. We are blessed. All right, I can do that. That's just a trip to Vivek. That's in the foreign quarter, if I recall. Yep. Go ahead. Yes, I'll let you. I am never too busy. Yeah, I know. You're all very talkative at me now. Okay, let's go do that. Where would you like to go? There's no turn in for Umbra. He's just a hidden, like, mega boss. He would have, like, two-shot me with that friggin' sword, so I didn't want to deal with that. If you can cheese things in Morrowind, Why, cheese man. things. This game doesn't care if you're ready to deal with stuff or if it's a fair fight. So you don't care if it's a fair fight either. 
You take advantage of anything you can. It's Umbra's own damn fault that he didn't have a ranged attack. And that I happen to have a spear that could outreach him. Oh, that has a weird shadow effect going on there. Hmm. Lower waist works. Oh, do I want lower waist works? It might be. It might be. Let's see. Uh. Arrain Frerness Apothecary. Uh. What was the name? Oh, Rolasa Oren. That's Jobasha's rare books. Okay. Uh. Myungi, Enchanter. No. Black Shock Corner Club. We know that place. Let's head up to the upper way, Storks. It might be up here. Oh, Idonia Munia. No. Bisa. No. Go ahead, Rolasa Oren. Hello. It's not bad when you know your way around. What are you looking for, Vivek? Uh, Guar Heights. House Redrin has provided my guar hides for years. Okay. Let's talk about House Slalu if we can. We can't. Okay, so it's clearly a bribe then, right? Okay. Persuasion. How about 100 gold? This is suitable. How about another 100? I'm generous and my judgment is good. Okay, guar hides. Okay, okay. I'll buy guar hides from House Slalu. Now leave me alone. Okay. We took care of that. She'll buy the imported guar hides. See if we can get any of the other alchemists in town to buy imported House Lalu guar hides. That's Black Shot Corner Club. Nope. There was a couple alchemists around. Yeah, over here. Yes. Apothecary. Nope, you don't have anything to say. Damn. Okay. How about you? Nope, nothing about guar hides. Okay. Yes, Outlander. What so it was I just get her to do it? All right, easy enough. Well, we can get out of here then. Let's go ahead and recall. Well, bam. I greet you as a friend. Oh, uh, well, bam. There we go. Back to House Lalu, we will go. A Lalu and we will go. They're conveniently nearby the temple, so it's easy enough to get here. How wonderful. Welcome, yeah, Outlander. Guar Hides. I heard you convinced Relasa Oren to buy Guar Hides from us. Good work, Shaitel Solver. Take these thousand drakes, a small share of House Lalu's future profits. All right. Can I advance? Yes, you clearly deserve the rank of Lawman. Congratulations. Okay. I cannot advance you further. You must find a sponsor among the house counselors. Since you are a foreigner, you should speak with Crassius Curio. I doubt any of the other counselors would sponsor you. Any more business? I need someone to deliver new orders to Bivel Tineran. Bivel Tineran is a wealthy clothing merchant in Aldrun. She keeps an eye out for us in Aldrun. Her shop is under Scar, the crab shell in Aldrun. Take this scroll to her. Okay, I can deliver a scroll. Probably about as far as I'll end up taking House Lalu. I'm not aiming for 100% completion of it. Because I don't like getting molested by Crassius Curio. It's uncomfortable and unpleasant. And there needs to be a mod that takes that out if there isn't. There probably is. There's a great modding community for this. But I will take care of this Aldrin business. That does bring up a point I want to talk about. Like, the, the bisexual or possibly gay person, I think canonically bisexual, is a weird molesty monster. And that always sucks when that happens. Like, that's never okay. It's, it's terrible representation of a minority. It happens a lot in things where the gay guy or the bi person is just a horrible monster or a child molester or something weird. And just, oh, I wish they'd quit doing that. Well, are you going to give this scroll or not? Yes. Yes, as I expected. Tell Naleno Dorvain that I received the scroll and understood the message. Why not take this outfit? A present for my efficient courier. It's like an exquisite shirt and extravagant pants. That's actually a pretty nice little reward early in the game. Because you can enchant that with good stuff. But yeah, like I was saying, so... Representation in games... This was... 
this was back in the day a little bit, so it's expected, unfortunately, but it's not okay, and it never was. Like, having... This is a really common thing where a sexual orientation-related minority... You see it a lot with transgender people now, since gay people have become a little bit less of the, the thing to, to, to punch at, you know? But they, they always end up being some kind of monster in the end, and that's not cool. That's That plays to some very old prejudices that are not okay, and I know I'm preaching to the choir here because I have great fans that understand this stuff. Like, all my viewers know this, but woo, does it get me. As, as a gay man, it's not... I don't appreciate that. That or when the gay guy has to die every time. You flatter me with your attention. Or, or they're just, like, ridiculously effeminate to a stereotype. Because, like, I'm a gay man and I'm not particularly effeminate. You know, there are plenty of different kinds of gay people. Okay, so we got the, the job done. Business as usual, except for the ebony trade. Oh, what's this about? The East Empire Company threatened to buy ebony from House Redoran unless we lowered prices. Either convince Kank... Cunian Ponius and Ebenhart to buy ebony from us, or kill Darns Tdalen, the head of mining operations in the Sulanet Mine. If you do both, there might be a bonus in it for you. Okay, yeah, we know about Kent Cunian Ponius. The Sudanet Mine. Sudanet is the only mine House Redrin currently controls. To get there, go to Aldrun and find the path between Aldrun and Fort Bucknuth to the south. Follow the path east until you reach the Ghost Fence, then keep to the right until you reach the mine. We'll probably work on that later. That's, uh, that's a two-fold job. We can work with that. I believe that's the final House Lalu quest from her. Okay, so what do we want to do now? We've got a few outstanding quests, right? Uh, we do need to steal something with Anasi. We need to steal that code book. We can't do House Redoran quests. That's just uh, something that we incidentally have. We can gather Court Bulbaroot, that's easy. Rescue Josie and Anqua. We can do that. Meramiro and the Rough Prophecy. Oh my god. Meramilo and the Lost Prophecies. There we go. I turned into the Blaze Blue announcer. Like Meramiro and the Rough Prophecy. Rebel One. Action. The Wheel of Fate Turn. Uh, let's see here. Pilgrimage to Morgan. Yeah. Oh, sleepers Away. Okay, let's go for Meramilo and the Lost Prophecies. We did uh, have that going on. Yeah. Leave me a message under the code word of my... Okay, so Caius Kosati's got recalled. We know that. He believes I'm really the narrative reading. He lets me find the lost prophecies and deliver them to Nabani Maesa. That was the Ashlander wise woman we've worked with. His parting orders to go to the Hall of Wisdom and Justice where Mara Milo will tell me how to get the lost prophecies. He says she's being watched and if something's gone wrong, she will leave me a message under the code word Amaya. Okay, we can head to Vivek. Temple District was where she lived, if I recall. Hop on over to Vivek. Where would you like to go? No, not there. The gondolier is the guy who takes you to the cannons. That person just takes you to other areas by boat, right? Uh, hmm. This weighs off either way. I know a better way to get around Vivek. Put on that fucking glitchy ass ring again. Don't mind me. They see me rolling. They hate it. I think it's way over there. These are the saint cantons because you can see the statue of each saint on them. Which is kind of cool if you want to just take a look. There's one of them. I can't remember if that's Olms or Rilms. I think that one's Olms and this one's Rilms. Maybe. Let's see. Nope, that was Olms. That one over there was Rilms. Okay. And of course here we have uh, Vivek stabbing a shark. A really nice looking spear that I can't take. And here we have Vivek just kind of standing here. We might meet Vivek, depending. There, there are several situations where you actually see him. There, he lives in there, but we can't really do much with him right now. Uh, let's see here. I believe I can head in. 
Yeah, alright, so... Let me take off that darn ring. Not the Stam Milf ring, we always want that on. There we go. Mayor Milo lives here somewhere, if I recall. So I'm mistaken, that's just his offices. Hall of Wisdom's the one that she lives in, I believe. That's High Fane, and that's locked. We can't go there. Cannon quarters, cannon offices. Marimilo's quarters. Okay, so. We're gonna have to pick our way in here. Nobody around. This is a good time to do it. Okay, there we go. And we pop right in. Note to Amaya. Okay, that's important, because Amaya's the code word that there's trouble. Amaya. Sorry I missed you. I had to run some old documents over to the Inquisitor at the Ministry of Truth, and I'm likely to be tied up there for a while. Why don't you meet me there as soon as you can? Then we can leave together as soon as I'm done. And Amaya, don't forget to bring me the two Divine Intervention Scrolls you borrowed. Or, if you use them, buy a couple of new ones for me. I think I'm going to need them soon. Janan Malini at the Mages Guild in the Foreign Quarter keeps them in stock. Alvela Saram is the guard at the entrance. Just tell her you're looking for me, and she'll let you in. Your faithful friend, Mara. P.S. I left a couple of levitate potions here for you, just in case. I couldn't remember if you knew the spell or not, so I drew a couple from stock. Okay, so if you read between the lines there, she's been arrested. So we're going to need to help out. Let's take the Rising Force potions. Let's also rob her because I'm sure the, the, the Inquisitors must have robbed her blind. It's terrible. Can't believe they'd do such a thing. They stole her two gold. Hmm. And they stole all her weird bug cheese and salt rice. Darn those Inquisitors. Okay, so the guard at the entrance of the Hall of Justice. Now, the Hall of Justice is... is the, the little neighboring chamber here, but what she's referring to is the jail, because she's been tied up for a while, as she put it. How do I get out of here? I'd like to leave... There we go. Uh, the jail is that. And that's why she gave us, though, if you if you noticed, she basically gave us an escape plan, right? It involves two scrolls of divine intervention, which I need to see if I have any. Divine intervention, I do have one, that's fine. Uh, I have my own way out with recall. So it should be fun. Basically, those scrolls are one for me, one for her. And the levitation is to get me up there. But I have my own way up. So that's fine. That's a rather clever little thing. Hi. You're the guard at the entrance? Yep. Okay, let me take off my, my fly earring. Yeah, this is their prison. It's very hard to break out of this, as you might imagine, because it's going to be quite a fatal drop when you leave. We are told to tell Alvela that... Yeah. I'm sorry, no pilgrims allowed in the ministry. I'll have to ask you to leave. But you're not here to visit anyone, are you? Mayra said you would come. I'll say you subdued me with magic and stole my key. It opens all three exterior doors. The upper back door is best. You'll need other keys for the doors inside. Search for the keys and desks. No one carries keys while on duty. Mara's in the prison keep in the cell on the far right. Mara said you bring scrolls. Get out. Some of us are sympathetic to the dissident priests, but kill an ordinator and you'll lose that sympathy. You've got rank in the temple. Maybe you can bluff your way through. Here's the key to the entrance. Now get going. Okay. So the the rear entrance is the best one to go through, apparently. Mystery of Truth key used to open lock. Okay, you... We kind of want to slip around in here. Yeah, okay. A worn cavern door. Well... I believe I'm equipped with the right thing for that. No killing ordinators here, remember. Yep, that's fine. I Just walk around like you belong here is the important thing to do. That doesn't seem like a place I should be in. Let's leave that closed. Ah, yes, this is the door back out. Okay. Sombrero Athelvis here. Guards, intruder. Yep, that was a bad choice. Okay, let's go through the back way again. Yeah, don't talk to him then. Good to know. Let's 
Let's just try and slip around this way, maybe. Oh-ho! Mystery of Truth, Prison Keep. Okay. What do you want? Guards intruder. Okay. Ooh, yeah, okay. It's fine. I'm not going to talk to you. As long as I don't talk to them. Nope, they, they don't like that. They didn't like that. Okay, uh... The Vic Temple. Okay, so we didn't find Mara Milo in there. That's unfortunate. We're gonna go back through this way. Get you over here. Yeah. Hi. Hello. 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 Okay. Cool. Now you're over here. Good job, asshole. That's where I wanted you to be. You know what? I think I have an invisibility spell, don't I? Do I have any way to become invisible? Hmm. I have a potion for it, I'm pretty sure. I have several of those. Yes, exclusive invisibility. 60 seconds. Let's chug that bad boy. Oh, that caused me to... I'm an idiot. That caused me to uninvisible myself. Prison keep is where I want to be, right? Last temple. No. We want the prison keep. It's around here somewhere. Hi. Uh, can I talk to you? No, you don't like me. Okay. Ow. 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 Nope, that's a bad place to be. Ow. Okay, let's get them all on this side, and we'll go back through. We need to find our way into the keep part. Okay. Take it take up. We'll drink our invisibility potion when we get in. Okay. Drink invisibility potion now. Where is that damn thing? There it is. Okay, and equip the flying ring. There we go. They don't know where I am. I disappeared. Okay, good. Holding cells. We need in these. Okay. I'm gonna take off the ring. We're gonna do this good. So we're not going to have much time to do it. Once once I un-invisible, they're going to be up my butt. So we're getting the master's lock pick out. All right, who are you? Building mural. Warmly, I'm in here for some sort of blasphemy or something. Did it all right. Guild says serve your time and keep your yap shut, so I'm being a good boy and staying quiet. There's nothing really, just regular barracks talk, but there was a lady present, and this veteran lord got up on his hind legs and was gonna slip me like a sturgeon. Better this way. Damn sight better. Okay, so you're some thieves guild guy that said something you weren't supposed to say. Oh. Yeah, I gotta unlock it from this side, too. Hi. Well, I find myself in pleasant company. <laughs> Please, share your thoughts. Nothing to do with me, mate. Ain't shifting. Did the crime, doing me time. It's a fair cop. I'm doing the time and walking free. Helps me poor mum be worrying herself sick. Okay. I don't know why you're, like, Cockney. Yes. I'll land it. I'll land it. There she is. Mara Milo. It is such an honor to meet you. Do you have the Divine Intervention Scrolls? I have an escape plan. I'll need one Divine Intervention Scroll myself for my escape plan. Getting out will be a lot faster and safer for you if you have one. But you haven't got one for yourself, maybe you can find some other way out. Now listen, here's my plan. Give me a Divine Intervention Scroll. I'll meet you at the Secret Dissident Priest Monastery in Holomayan. For safety, we'll travel separately. When you get out of here, look for a woman named Blata Hateria on the East Docks of Ebonheart. Tell her I sent you and that you want to go fishing. She'll bring you to Holomayan by boat. I'll meet you there and we'll get the Lost Prophecies from Gilvis Borello, the leader of the Dissident Priests. Her magic conceals the Holomayan entrance. Speak to Vervana Arion, a monk of the dock at Holomayan about the hidden entrance. Where's Holomayan? We've never heard of that. It's a secret monastery of the dissident priests. The monastery itself is beneath the surface of a remote island along Azura's coast, with only a single entrance hidden from view by hills and vegetation. The monastery is further protected by a magical shield which opens only at dawn and dusk, the magical twilight hour sacred to Azura. Okay, lost prophecies. We can't talk now, but in the Apographa, the hidden teachings of the temple, there are several extensive references to lost prophecies. Prophecies no longer current among the Ashlanders, but recorded by earlier temple pilgrims and scholars. And I think you'll find what you're looking for in the libraries of Halamayan. Okay. Then it's time to get out of here. 
now. Obviously, she wasn't going to Alm Civi intervention since she's now wanted by the church. So we're going to go ahead and pop the recall spell, which is around here somewhere. Actually, divine intervention is pretty convenient here, too. I think that takes me to Ebonheart, so let's just cast that. Whoop, yep, that's Ebonheart. Nice. If I had Corkball Brood, I could turn that in here. Oh, there's Weedguard. Remember him? The guy I thought was just smoking a massive joint. We love Weedguard here. We stand Weedguard on the channel. Where's your uniform? Uh, laying on top of a dead orc somewhere in the Ashlands right now. <laughs> to be honest with you, that's where my uniform is. He had way cooler armor, sorry. Okay. Somebody named like Blada something. So and so Blada. Yeah, Blada Hateria. Yes, I'm Blada Hateria. Do I know you? Right. You're Chetel Solvere. My friend said you might want to go fishing. I know a fine place. Excellent fishing. My friend Mara Milo says it's her favorite fishing spot. You ready to go? Yes. Good. I'm ready to take you to Holomane anytime you're ready to travel. I'll be here to offer that service anytime you need it. Yep, take me to the Azura's Coast region. And we're here at Holloman. And we got sniffed by this lady. Give me a moment to take a drink. I'm Vivrana Aryan, a monk of Holloman. The monastery is here, on this island. Take the stone pathway north from the docks and the path uphill. The entrance is hidden by a magical shield. Wait or rest at the head of the path, and the portal will open at dusk and dawn only. The magical twilight hour is sacred to Azura. Mary Milo has told us of your coming. You can find her in the library with Master Borello. Later, I can arrange for your return to Vivek whenever you are ready. Okay. Not a lot to do here except go to the Holomayan Monastery. And we follow this little rock path that's very conveniently laid out, as, as instructed. There's a rat. It's blighted. It doesn't seem to care, though. And there's the shield. Now, if we wait here, can't rest here. Enemies are nearby. Well, sorry, chill rat. You aren't gonna be chill for long. Hmm. It is currently 9 p.m. Let's rest six hours. Let's rest another hour and one more. And now it should be dawn very shortly. And this thing should come up. Yes, there we go. 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Dawn and dusk. Shields up and alert. All right, and we're in. There are shrines to everybody here. This is a big old monastery. There's a wooden chest with potions. Don't take anything from it, obviously. It's not yours. There is someone watching me. Welcome, Chetel Silver. Mara Milo has told us of your coming. You can find her in the library with Master Borello. Let's ask about Mara. Mara Milo has run terrible risks remaining at the Hall of Wisdom and Truth. And we are grateful that you have rescued her from the Ministry of Truth. How about Master Borello? As to give us Borello is the abbot of our monastery, the head of our secret order. We have adopted the name Dissident Priests. We are not ashamed of our disputes with the temple's hierarchy. We are fiercely loyal to the temple's ancient traditions, but we are troubled that the ultimate source of the tribunal's divinity might be the same as the source of Dagoth Ur's evil power. Dagoth Ur's power seems to wax as the tribunal power wanes. Read The Progress of Truth and other documents of the Apocrypha in our library, and you'll see why we are uneasy. Yeah, we read that. It, it was compelling that, like, maybe the temple did something bad. You know? Go ahead, Are you the person? No. We'll keep looking around. We'll find him eventually. Gotta be down here somewhere. No. There's a lot of these dissident priest folks. Fracky. Fracky's apparently a dissident priest. Interesting. There's Mara Milo, and that must be Welcome, Master Borello. Thank you for rescuing me. Now I'll stay here at Holomayan with Master Borello and assist him with the monastery's library. How can I help you? Dissident priests. A significant part of the temple hierarchy might be more inclined to accept and tolerate differences of opinions and dogma, but other parts of the temple... In particular, the Ordinators under Beryl Sala claim that the threat from Red Mountain and Dagoth Ur can only be resisted with a unified, resolute faith. The people are afraid, so they support the hard line. But if we can show ourselves able to confront Dagoth Ur more efficiently than the Ordinators, the Temple and the people will support us. 
Okay. Yeah, we know about Secret Order. Uh, Lost Prophecies. Well, Mayor Milo. Yeah, we've heard that before already. Okay. What's your take on Dagoth Ur? So long as the Ordinators, Boyand Armagers, and the Tribunal could contain the Blight and Dagoth Ur's creatures within the Ghost Fence, faith in the Temple's protective power was strong. But now travelers and settlements suffer from blight storms and marauding monsters that the people fear the temple is losing its ages old battle with the devil Dagoth Ur. All right. What about the Nerevarine? Our interests in the Nerevarine used to be a matter of principle, a willingness to consider the validity of mystical insights rejected by temple doctrine. Now, Dagoth Ur grows stronger while the temple grows weaker and the return of St. Nerevar, even if only reborn in spirit, may be our best prospect of salvation. Nerevar. By the way, here are a few books from our library you might find of interest. Each gives a very different impression of Nerevar. So we got the real Nerevar, Nerevar Moon and Star, and St. Nerevar. And the Lost Prophecies? I have reviewed the Apographa and found two passages of particular interest. We've made copies of these passages to give you. Many are familiar with the two Nerevarine prophecies current among the Ashlanders called The Stranger and The Seven Visions. We have two other prophecies, The Lost Prophecy and The Seven Curses, that may offer additional insights into the riddles surrounding the coming of the Incarnate. Perhaps these are the Lost Prophecies that your friend Nabani Maesa told you about. We've also prepared a document for you called Kagranax Tools. This document will explain to you and to others the terrible secret that the Temple conceals about the true history of the Tribunal and the corrupt nature of their divine powers. It is to conceal this secret that the Temple persecutes the Nerevarine and the dissident priests. This persecution must stop. We must be united against the true enemy, Dagoth Ur, and if you are the Nerevarine, you must lead us against him. All right, so let's ask about these. Lost Prophecy. From seventh sign of eleventh generation, neither hound nor gua nor seed nor harrow, but dragonborn and far star marked, outlander incarnate beneath red mountain, blessed guest counters seven curses, star blessed hand wheels thrice cursed blade to reap the harvest of the unmourned house. I've annotated your copy of the lost prophecy with our best efforts at interpretation. But a rough summary might be, an outlander, foreign-born but welcomed as a guest, confronts seven curses beneath Red Mountain. His hand, blessed by Azura, uses a cursed blade to bring justice to House Dagoth, or House Dwimmer, or both. The Nervarine? An outlander? That wouldn't please many Ashlanders, and may explain how the prophecy got lost. Okay, and let's ask about the seven curses. The seven curses reads as follows. Through the doors of the unmourned house, where scoffers scoff and schemers scheme, from the halls of the oath-breaking house ring seven curses of gods blasphemed. First curse, curse of fire. Second curse, curse of ash. Third curse, curse of flesh. Fourth curse, curse of ghosts. Fifth curse, curse of seed. Sixth curse, curse of despair. Seventh curse, curse of dreams. Your copy of the Seven Curses bears our guesses at interpreting the verses. In short form, Seven Curses come from House Dagoth or House Dwimmer or both. Fire and Ash come from Red Mountain, Flesh is Corpus. Ghosts, Seed, and Despair are unclear. But Curse of Dreams seems to refer to recent cases of soul sickness and sleeper attacks in the towns. Okay, and the Apocrypha. The Hierographa are the collected priestly writings of the temple. The Apographa are the hidden writings, secrets known only at the highest levels of the priesthood and inquisition. Defying the temple, we have gathered as much of the Apographa as we can here in Holomayan. One of the chief disputes between the temple and the distant priests is that the temple hides the truth from its followers. Okay, so we should return to Vivek. Vavrana Arya and a monk at the docks outside can arrange for travel back to Vivek. You can only enter or leave Holomine at dusk and dawn. The entrance is sealed at all other hours. But please, make yourself comfortable here. Rest in our beds and make good use of our services. You may read our books, but don't take them. Do not abuse our hospitality. Do not take personal items or alchemical apparatus or ingredients or other private property. 
No problem. Yes, sir. And yeah, this is a hell of a library, actually. They got a lot of interesting books in here. We'll check in on them later, perhaps. But we've got what we need now. We have the books that we got to get out of here. So let's get back to Vivek. There is another way out here, too, you'll notice. This path. There's the dock over there, but you can head down to the Skating Isles proper over here. I have a pretty convenient way to get out, though, and that's just casting Divine Intervention wherever I want to leave. Now we're at Sadrith Mora, Wolverine Hall. Okay. We just need to find a transport that gets us out of here now. I didn't really want to go back to Ebonheart, so... I need to find another option. I think there's a boat down here. Yeah, I see the sails now. Okay. So, we want to drop these off at Merimilo, who's quite a ways away. Yes, Where is the Urshalaku camp? Once again, let's let's check. Uh, Urshalaku camp, north of Margan. Get there from Cool, pretty easy. Okay. Where can you take us? Uh, I guess we are going to Evanhart then, because that's the most convenient way to get to Cool. Yeah, Laod, and then from Laod to Cool. Yes, Alfred. What do you want? I can't. I can go to Molagmar, though, so that works. That was the one, right? Nope, that's that's Molagmar. I need Margan. Shit. Okay, Hlaod will get us to cool, and it's cheap to go to Hlaod, so there we go. Hlaod should get us to cool. Oh, Narmak first, right? Then to cool. I know there's a way to get to cool. There it is. Yeah, Hlaod to Narmak to cool is the path you need to go. All right, well, we were reading the Corpse Preparation book series, I believe, so let's go ahead and continue that once we... I want to see where the Silt Strider connects to, though, real quick. Margan, Aldrin, and Nissus. Okay, good to know. I can get to hear from Aldrin, and that's a lot easier than taking the Laud Narmak route. Okay. So, book time, book time. Who's got the book time? All right. Corpse Preparation, Volume 2. We'll be reading the Nerevar books later. Taking a drink. On the Preparation of the Corpse, Volume 2, The Skeletal Corpse. When raising a skeleton servant, it is most important that the body of the skeleton be complete. If the skeleton is missing crucial bones, the results can be frustrating. One should only attempt to raise skeletons when you are sure that all or nearly all the bones are present. While the magic involved in raising a skeleton will assemble the bones in the proper order, skeletons may be strengthened considerably by the addition of support on their joints. The most common are leather straps that bind the bones together more tightly. Some practitioners also drive metal spikes between the joints, which is more expensive and time-consuming, but they protect the servant where it is weakest. The details of this are unimportant, as even an amateur can strengthen a skeleton significantly. Only practice will reveal the best methods of binding and reinforcing the skeletal servant. Amateurs often make the mistake of binding the bones too tightly, limiting the skeleton's movements and making it useless. Again, only practice can give the necessary experience in these matters, though it is best to err towards tight bindings. One may always loosen them at a later date. One more note to the student. While most undead can be raised again and again, skeletons are often damaged in ways that make raising them again impossible. This is another reason that care should be given to the skeleton's preparation. Too many young necromancers raise every skeleton they see with little or no preparation at all. Given the difficulty of obtaining corpses, this kind of inefficiency cannot be tolerated. Okay. A little more about our budding necromancer career, I guess. We're going to head on out to the Urshalaku camp. We'll be on the road there in the next episode. But for now, thank you all for watching. I appreciate every last one of you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>